Hi everyone, Kelsey and Pat here with another episode of So What's New. So we have a lot of exciting stuff to show. I told Kelsey this morning, I said, you know, I am completely in love with all these fall fabrics. And I feel like it, we want to share that with you because fall hopefully will be here soon. Yes. And it'll cool off a little bit. But we need to get started on these projects sooner. Yes. And we have the fabrics. Well, so. you were first inspired by sunflowers. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> because they're so bright and cheerful and I don't know they're they're kind of timeless right mm -hmm. or ageless also I mean you like them in your house I like them in my house so it's a it's a good fit I think for every house mm -hmm. and um, for every age group and it, they make great gifts whatever you make out of sunflowers so we have some fabrics here we we walked around the store we're lucky enough to be able to come in every day and mm -hmm. get inspired and um Look at all these beautiful patterns and books and what have you that we have. So we, we grabbed some stuff that we thought would work well with these fabrics. So mm -hmm. why don't we get started? We're going to start with this first group. Yes. Right. We, you and I chose our favorite pieces from Autumn Sun, which is a brand new collection from Wilmington Prince. And we're going to start with the border. I'm going to move some of the stuff we brought over to show you. Hey, it's still upside down. Okay, it comes off the bolt like that. Okay, so border prints. You may see them in our mm -hmm. store and wonder, what do you do with those? We were on Wilmington's website and found some great, very basic patterns. Um, and I know that I've helped some of you who sometimes just come in and say, I need to cover my table with something. You know, the seasons are coming up. I've got a plain table. I just need a simple runner to put on this table to bring in the season. So what a great idea. The basic runner from Wilmington Prints. That is literally a piece of this um, border print in a table runner fashion. Yeah, super it easy. Does, I mean, you can do this so fast if you have company coming over and you want to dress up mm -hmm. your house just a little. I mean, this is summer to fall. So this particular print is one that you could um, change the seasons with, with the bees and the hives, right? And the sunflowers. Yeah, and, it's, and you can customize it to the length of your table. I was looking at the lengths. And this particular one for this pattern is 40 inches by 14 and a half, which means you're getting the front and the back, right? Yeah. Out of 40 inches. Right. Or, I, th I don't know whether you said this before, but I had a customer tell me the other day, she makes her table runners reversible and puts, maybe you could put Christmas on the back. When yeah. Christmas comes along, instead of just using a lining on the back, you can just flip it over and use it for another season. Or right. you can put some another print, another sunflower, something on the back. Right. So very versatile. So you, a, it's about a yard and a quarter, 40 inches. And you know, Kelsey, I just had a thought. Um, you, most of you know that we, we are the owners of the store. And so Kelsey and I do all the ordering of the fabric. And there are a lot of collections that have um, the stripes now, right? Right. And we take a long, hard look. It's not, <laughs> it's part of the fun of working at the store, right? Is yes. doing the ordering. Yeah. But we put a lot of thought into it. We can't order everything we see, unfortunately, but we put a lot of thought into what we feel we need and what you all will like. And so we buy the ones that we feel right away, we can see this made up in a home yeah in a home whether it's in a bag and a yeah. table runner in a quilt Let's in, go a, back in a baby's it. room yeah so we think long and hard over every piece we and do we love this piece yes <laughs> so we're going to make these free patterns available to you um so that you as you can see look at that that's the instructions right there <laughs> so if you're a beginner Super sewer perfect yeah and we know yeah. we have a lot of beginner sewer customers who are looking for that next project so going off that Use this, using the same idea, you can make a very simple bench pillow using mm -hmm. a border print. You could get multiple pillows, um, I would think, with the, the strips of fabric. 
So and let's keep going because we have I a lot to show. I was going to say with those patterns, you could make that out of every one of these in these piles. Right. You know? Oh, so, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, we have so a lot to show. So we have the coordinate. Okay, so this bumblebee is just classic, right? Yeah, that's a cute, really small little print that would be good for pot holders or an apron or yeah, you could an really... accent on a tea towel or something. If you... I love this one. And by the way, the background is navy blue, which normally on sunflowers is black, but this is beautiful shaded um, and with a navy background. And then we've got the small little print to coordinate with it because we always need those little coordinates. Small, medium, and large. Yes, okay, and okay. And then lastly, from Autumn Sun, we have the pre-cuts. So if you wanna make a sunflower quilt, we have the 10 inch squares. Look at all the colors in there. So those are all the pieces in the collection. And of course, we've got these bolts here for your borders binding and backing. So we should say how many squares are in there. So this one has 42 10 inch squares in it and the edges are pinked, so nice and neat. And then we have the little five Here's inch. Five inch squares, mm -hmm. the, they make um, great table runners as well. And it's nice because you get the variety of the collection and then here's the two and a half inch squares. The strips. Uh, strips. Yeah. And how many are there in there? 42 and a half inch by 44 inch yes. strips. So that's a nice size. <laughs> I think that'll make about a twin, but I'll take a look right now. We have some patterns there for um, jelly roll strips. Okay, let's move on. So now the next assortment of fabric we have to show you is autumn themed, just like the previous one. These are all from Timeless Treasures and they are really timeless, aren't they, Kelsey? Yes. So let's start with the one on top beautiful hues orange hues rusty colors metallic now this is on a black background yeah with a metallic outline um and then we have the pumpkins of course that coordinate really nicely this would be a nice placemat and then we have this one there's hardly any left but i'm sure we'll be getting more it's an assortment different sizes Beautiful, again, on the black background. And then of course, Timeless is very, very good. Timeless Treasures is very good about their plaids, whether it be Christmas plaids or fall plaids. Their plaids always work really well with their um, seasonal themed prints. So a beautiful plaid. And again, this is metallic. And then we have more sunflowers. These sunflowers, are on a black background. They just pop off the fabric. And they ha they do have slight metallic outline. And then we have one with no leaves at all. And oh my gosh, this is stunning. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. I mean, this just comes, jumps right off the fabric. And then of course, whenever you're um, wanting to create a project, normally you need your blender. And Timeless has a run of blenders called Solidish. And this one is their, um, let me just see what it's called. It's called- Rust. Rust. Well, that's appropriate. Okay, so this works perfectly with these collections. Now that you've seen the fabric, we wanna inspire with some ideas of what you could make. So if you've ever been in the store or maybe watched my Curve Appeal video, this here is a Curve Appeal table runner. And this is actually from last season. So you can see it just pops off the fabric. You only need two different prints and it would work with any of these prints or with the plaid. And I'm gonna show you what the pattern is. Let's put it down here. So this is the Curve Appeal pattern um, by Tiger Lily Press. It's very easy to use. Don't you very have a tutorial easy. on this? I have a tutorial on this, it. yes, on our, on our YouTube. And then I have another sample over there, if you don't mind passing it over. 
By the way, um, some of you may ask, this is just bias that I stitched on here. And I did some decorative stitching here with the Baby Lock Sashiko. So any of you who have a Sashiko, uh, a Baby Lock Sashiko machine, it's a great time to pull it out and do some additional decorative stitching. And this is another project that I made. This actually was a class that I taught um, last fall. And you can just be really creative. That, this is just one, one piece of fabric, just a beautiful print. And all I did was I used variegated yarn. I marked my grid on my cushion and then I used variegated yarn and variegated thread and I just couched it down. So it's actually very effective. And the reason why I got that idea is to me, this looked like a garden of flowers. And I thought what nicer than to kind of have the idea of looking through a window. So I, I couched it in a square um, design. So, and then the other side, I put a monogram on there. This is Studio E. Yes. This is so, so pretty. Is that this, autumn abundance? Yes. Yes. It's so, so pretty. Look at that. Lot, a lot of detail work. This would be really nice for my six step tote to mm -hmm. combine it with a vinyl. So, um, you know that our kits have been very popular as has been that video, right, Kelsey? Mm -hmm. And so we're going to link to this video some combinations that we're doing of corks and vinyls that work with our fall fabrics. So we'll do that next, but it'll be linked um, to this video. Let's finish showing okay. what Autumn Abundance, because we have a free pattern here. Okay, so this one is called Autumn Abundance. And free pattern, um, we're gonna link this. At a very minimum, you now have a free pattern to make some placemats. So you can use whatever you see here and these instructions to make some placemats. Um, be nice right out of this one right here. And then if you want to make we have a placemat panel here. Yeah, that's um, nice. It's a 36 inch panel, which means you get four placemats. And how do we want to do this? We're going to hold it up. So these are really nice. It's kind of one of those where the panel front is already done for you and you can embellish it however you'd like, um, but you get four panel fronts here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very easy. And then this you don't plaid. Have, it's like a no brainer when you get something like this. And of right. course, you can personalize it or throw it in your embroidery. Yeah. You can quilt it. You There's know. no printed instructions on it. So you, you get to be the designer. You get mm -hmm. to decide how you finish it. But this plaid sure would be perfect for the binding on it. Yeah. Perfect. And the solid dish from Timeless perfect, would probably perfect. work also. Yes. So let's move on here. Okay, got to make room for more here. So now we come into the Robert Kaufman um, sunflower prints. I'm going to hold it up. This one has little butterflies. Mm. Cute. Very. It's amazing. We have a huge variety. Look at how beautiful that is. And it's got metallic, right? Very pretty. This would be nice for a little, for a dress. Yes. Yeah. Very pretty. Okay. And of course, a lot of thought went into this. We got the borders. It would, so you could use the pattern, the first one that we showed the table runner um, and use that for this. And we got it in two colors because we loved it so much. We had to get both of them. Sometimes it's hard to pick just one. And then we have, the, these are glorious, the coordinating fall leaves. And so and let's just she, pull this up a second. I just want to coordinate, show them how it coordinates, oh yeah. how nice it looks with that. And then we have the fat quarter bundle. If you do a lot of fall sewing, we have the shades of the season 
um, fat quarter bundle. Really, really beautiful. So this is Shades of the Season. This is the green. Well, that was mm, easy. Pretty. <laughs> and then we have a nice gold. And these are flashes of metallic gold, so they tie in really well. And another basic idea for you to get these sunflowers in your home. We've got a free pattern we're going to link um, of a zigzag. And that's um, that's really nice. And it's really effective. Yeah, yeah. So for any of you beginners out there, these are these are great ideas. And I want to show we have one in brown. Mm. Let's lay it out here. Mm, this one's really nice. Yeah. This is this is beautiful. It's like a stamped mm -hmm. leaf. Again, it just gold pops, metallic. Gold metallic pops off the fabric. And last but not least. We have, this is Robert Kaufman's Kona Sheen fabric. And I pulled in this one color because it's just, it's yummy. Wouldn't you call this a yummy yes, color? Yes, it definitely. It's called Amber Gold. And you can see that it's got a sheen. We do have this in our, on our blender wall in the quilt room. The whole collection. It, yeah, in several shows. I don't know if, we, if they're all left out there because they're beautiful colors. But um, yeah, this, if you want to add a little bit of elegance, touch of shine, touch of elegance to it, mm -hmm. um, this would be it. And then, so that's all of our fabric, but we just wanted to share another couple of things. So here's a project that Raquel made. It's a circular table topper. And what she did to embellish the edges is she created serger lace on her baby lock serger. So it's a four thread serge. And we do have a video yes, on Catherine. our five minute Friday. Catherine wanna... explains how to do it. Yeah. So, so we'll link that if you have a serger with the four thread overlock and want to make lace. Yeah, there it is. And Raquel used the Glamour Wonderfill. Let me put that down a second. Glamour Wonderfill um, in two different colors. But you can, this is a 12 weight, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 12 weight thread. And so it's really, it's really fun to do. And mm -hmm. another way to use your serger, look at how nice that is. And then in the center, this circle with embroidery designs inside it was created in the design center of her machine. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's filled. So she, first of all, um, selected the shape, filled it with an embroidery design, and assigned it a candle wicking. So she took the table topper to another level. And then, of course, it's lined on the back. So just another it's, fun idea, huh? Yeah, Very and creative. It's, it's fat quarter friendly. She fat used, quarter friendly. She used two fat quarters, and she folded them in four and measured nine inches from the folded corner all the way around to make the circle. Perfect. So. so another fun project for yeah um, your autumn table. That's right. Yep. Of course, we had to bring in cork. We have cork in beautiful colors that coordinate with many of these fabrics. Thank you, Kelsey. <laughs> so this is cork. This is cork. This works well with the first collection, right, yes. that we showed. Yes. It's um, a little bit of a different shade. Plus we have glitter vinyls and other vinyls that coordinate and more pre-cuts. <laughs> pre and these are all galore. on our... You're rolling it around. So you can see the shades of the yeah. season. Beautiful. So we hope you've enjoyed our little summer, summer, fall presentation here of um, beautiful, fall prints and fabrics. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time you come in. Bye. Bye.